This is Bob Cade from Biker Pros. We're over in the corner of the Harley Ride In Tent. Um, I'm here with Sandy from Colorado, and we got this beautiful soft tail in front of us. Sandy, as I understand it, you and your husband have uh, customized bikes, and uh, you're a rider. So why don't you tell us a little bit about you know your involvement with customization in Harley Davidson? My husband and I have had four Harleys. This is the fourth. The second one was a 2006 Deluxe that I picked out and then I decided we needed to uh, customize it so we put billet parts on all of it. Um, one of my husband's companies came into town and drove the bike and decided he needed to buy the bike and I said, it's not for sale. And he says, no, no, I really need to buy this bike. And I said, sir, there's about $50,000 in this bike. I think you could go buy it stock and do it yourself. He says, well, how, how many hours would I have in it? And I said, uh, weeks. He says, no, I don't have time for that. So he said, uh, how much is in it? And I said, about $52,000. And he said, okay, I'll think about it. So in about four hours, he came back and handed my husband and I a check for $48,000. So I told my husband, go get the pink slip. So we did sell that, and about a week later, we bought this CBO um, convertible. It's a Screamin' Eagle, and I picked out the color. I wanted something different. So we have um, now have this as a work in progress. We just changed the seats. Uh, Bitch and Stitchin' in uh, Denver, Colorado, did the seats, padded them both. It has a back buddy seat that matches it, but we took it off for the show. And now we're going to do pinstripe, uh, a band on both of the uh, bags, and a little bit on the air cleaner to match. Very nice. You know, Harley is obviously very interested in customizations, particularly in cu their customers taking on these type of projects. Um, when you bought your first Harley, were, did you find it to be helpful at the Harley de dealership? When we bought the Deluxe, it was, um, we were, that's when Harley had this show at the convention center. And the people that Harley brings in to help customers and answer questions helped us a great deal. He was the gentleman that literally was promotion for the Deluxe at the time. So I said, come over here. And he brought his pad and the book and he told me every part number, every serial, everything I needed so that when we went back to the dealer, all I had to do was hand him the paper. Well, that's fantastic. I imagine that you've really enjoyed that experience and have shared that with others, so uh, you must consider yourself kind of an ambassador of Harley Customization now. We really do. We have been over here even this time and have visited with about four people that we have visited with for the last couple of years. We come to Sturgis, this is our 19th year. So this is one of the first places we go and one of the last places we leave because we do get a lot of good ideas from Harley. Well, you know, I, I've uh, talked with a few other women that actually rode their bikes up and uh, the female market is the fastest growing market for Harley Davidson. And we talked a little bit about their, um, what their challenge is with riding and getting help. And um, they had some great advice for women interested, first of all, to get in it and do it and take your time and go at your own pace. But I think you have a different interesting aspect in that the customization and being involved and you know from a woman's point of view and working with your husband that must have been a really nice um, really uh, thing to share with each other. It's been very bonding. Uh, my husband is an advocate of Harley's. This is the only bike that he has ever owned uh, and I do enjoy it a great deal and it must be something that we enjoy together because every year this is our anniversary today and we're here every year at the show on our anniversary so I guess it is something we do share together. Well maybe you can offer some advice for some other couples and for some women and how they can proceed together and work together obviously it's a bonding experience and, and, and what you've looked at in terms of customization. I just think you have to enjoy the sport together. You have to be in tune with each other. You have to have an aspect of uh, riding, wanting to be out together and uh, stay together. And 
uh, go into the stores and look at these things together and he asks my input as well as I get his input. When we go back to Denver, we're going to put a set of pipes on. So we looked at them together and we picked them out together. So we, that's great advice, you know, and again, it's sharing, doing things together, which is a wonderful way to do this. Now, as a passenger, I bet you have some advice to share because, yeah, there's a lot of women out riding now, but there's still a lot of women out riding as passengers, and, and what are the things that make that more enjoyable for you as a passenger? I think with me sitting on the back and I'm able to smell the roses. I'm able to look around. I'm able to see the scenery a little bit more than if I was driving. I'm, I'm a little bit tentative. My husband wants me to drive my own, but right at the moment I have no wants to do that. But I do enjoy sitting and, and watching the horizons. Well, Sandy, this has been a wonderful conversation. You've given us a whole different aspect to the female involvement in motorcycling with Harley-Davidson. Um, thank you um, for coming down and being part of the Harley-Davidson Ride-In Show. This is why we do it, and thanks for your time. It's been a pleasure meeting you.